Hi, I'm Jen Wan, one of the co-founders of Elicit, and today I wanted to show you a little bit how to use our Zotero integration. Zotero is one of the most popular reference managers that researchers use. A lot of you have been collecting papers in there for a very long time, papers from all different sources, papers that you've painstakingly collected and reviewed. Um, so we wanted to make it easier for you to bring those papers into Elicit so that you can use some of Elicit's data extraction features to get the most out of your papers. Um, and you can use this kind of workflow that I'm about to show you today for things like narrowing down the overwhelming number of papers you might have greedily collected in your reference manager. Um, you can use it for uh, screening or data extraction for systematic reviews or scoping reviews. Um, you can use it to just better understand what all the different papers are saying and to find themes across the literature. I'll probably get into the details of those workflows in separate videos. For now, I'll just go through the mechanics of how you can connect Zotero um, into Elicit and start importing your papers that way. So this is the Elicit homepage, should be pretty familiar. The first thing you want to do is connect your Zotero account to your Elicit account. To do that, you can kind of open up your sidebar here where you have a bunch of different um, admin options and your workflow history. And if you scroll to the bottom, this is how you access your account settings page. So hover over your name here and then click into account settings. Um, this is where you can manage, uh, you know, things like your display name, subscription options, um, and at the bottom, your integrations. So you'll see Zotero here and then you can click connect. You'll be taken to Zotero um, where you'll be prompted to sign in. I've already signed in to my Zotero account, so I'm going to skip that step, but that should be pretty straightforward. Uh, and then you can just accept these um, this kind of API integration and then elicit. It'll, you'll be brought back to elicit um, and you'll get a message saying that the connection was successful, hopefully. Uh, from here, you'll be taken directly to the library page. So again, the library you can also access from this sidebar. This is where all the files that you upload into Elicit will be stored, whether they are from Zotero or you've uploaded them as PDFs. A couple notes about the library. So uh, everything here is entirely private to you. It's not going to be shared with anyone else. Um, it's not a way to publish papers onto the Elicit platform. It's just a way to take the papers you already have access to or that you've collected um, and get more information uh, from them, basically. Um, we want to, get, to give you a library so that you wouldn't have to upload papers every single time you wanted to extract data from them. So now you see there are a few different ways for adding papers to your library. You can upload papers by PDF uh, and you can upload by Zotero. When I click Zotero, it's going to show me all the different collections I have uh, in, in, my, uh, in Zotero. Um, these are correct and I can pick uh, different collections to import. So maybe I'll import my systematic reviews collection. You can see that'll start to load and it's starting to populate in the background. Um, a couple notes here, uh, we can upload up to 100 items at a time, and currently we can only upload PDFs, unfortunately. Um, you can see that the kind of collection tag is imported as well, so you can filter by your Zotero collection, which is pretty handy. Uh, so let me just show you, let me also import my illicit test uh, collection so that we can kind of see how you can manage your collections in the library. This isn't a living integration. So if your Zotero collection changes, you need to re-import it each time. So there, there's still many things we could make easier um, and, and opportunities for improvement, but hopefully it's already useful. Uh, so now I've imported two collections, my systematic reviews collection and my illicit test collection into Zotero, uh, in, from Zotero into Elicit. And now a um, bunch of those are here so I can filter for just the papers that were in my illicit test collection as well as my systematic reviews collection. Um, we don't have separate projects that you can manage in Elicit today. So this is a good way of kind of hacking at creating projects. So, you know, what's the point of having all these papers in your library? Um, really, the main use case is to kind of extract data from those papers. So if you go back to the home page and click on the extract data from PDFs workflow, you can see all of my papers are here now. That was pretty fast. Um, and again, I can kind of uh, filter by collection and um, import certain you know, papers um, that are kind of interesting to me. So I'll select a couple here, mindfulness maybe. Uh, that seems fine. And then I can also upload more papers, more PDFs from this, uh, from the home page directly as well. So let's say I select a bunch of papers. I could really select all of them if I wanted to. Um, I'll just do three for now. Um, then Alyssa will start to parse them. 
you'll see the papers come up here and you can skim through and read them here. We also now extract tables and you, we can use the data from tables if you um, add columns in high accuracy modes. That's pretty nifty. Um, and then from here, you can add a bunch of different columns that might be of interest. So things like outcome measured, um, you know, or kind of summary, for example. You can see there's a long list of columns here and you can always add custom columns. I can show you those features in a separate video too. Um, so basically this is a useful way again to take all the papers that you've collected and if you're trying to figure out how to um, prioritize them, you might want to extract a bunch of fields that you care about and order the papers by, by those, those fields. Maybe you care about specific outcomes or specific populations and you want to start with the papers that are most relevant to you first. Um, so it's a, it's a good way for just kind of generally narrowing down a large set of papers that you have. Um, but it, you can also use it more formally for something like a scoping review or systematic review in the kind of screening or extraction steps. In future videos, I can show how to do that more explicitly.